So here is a quote. It says, in any small way that I can, I hope to be able to continue showcasing the best of Trinidad and Tobago on an international level. And that's exactly what Randall Waddle did. He's a principal designer for the Homework Design Studio, and he won the International Property Awards, showcasing the best of Trinidad and Tobago. Good morning to you, Mr. Waddle. Good morning, Natalie. Good morning, Akash. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. And congratulations yep. to you. Thank you. Much appreciated. Well, tell us a little bit about Homework Design Studio before we get into this prestigious award that you won. Sure. Homework Design Studio is an interior design firm based right here in Trinidad. I'm its principal interior designer, um, and we do uh, commercial and residential new build and renovations. Yeah, um, and I have a team of about 20 trades with me and we literally just move project to project all right and what is the international property awards because i was reading up on it this morning and it seems to be a very big deal with a lot of stiff competition globally well it's in its 27th year mm -hmm. um and it was founded by um lords um of the house of commons and in parliament in the uk um and it's to showcase uh, architecture, interior design, real estate um, around the world. So they divide it up into different uh, categories for Asia, the Americas, Europe, uh, UK. Um, and so you are invited to participate, as I did earlier this year before the um, pandemic hit us. And the awards were supposed to be judged in April. And of course, everything got delayed. Um, and so I submitted a project that I had recently com completed, um, which was a residential home, and it um, won. And um, surprisingly, you know, I, it was my first uh, entrance into this awards because I had been following it for a couple of years, um, and I had known some regional architects that had won it, um, but wasn't so sure that I was of, you know, the caliber to put myself forward so much, but I did, and I'm very grateful that I did. And now that you've won, how do you feel knowing that it's, it's, it's the big wigs and you're in the big leagues now having won that award? Well, uh, it is <laughs> truly, it is exciting. And, you know, in a weird way, this year has been so terrible for so many. And, um, you know, this pandemic hit us so quickly without much planning, there was, you know, we didn't know what to expect and where to come. And um, frankly, I didn't even know if I would continue to be employed. So um, it, it was a very hard year overall. So when this win came about, um, it was very exciting. More so because first of all, it translated into really being Trinidad and Tobago one. And, you know, I really am very, um, you know, positive about our country and the direction that it's going and, and what we have available. So these 20 people that are with me from project to project, they are the ones that are really homework design studio because they are there every single day and they um, are fantastic tradesmen and they, they have wonderful skills. And without them, there would be nothing. And that also translates into the joy of the client. Yeah. Everything is based on, on what our team can do for them. So it was, a, it was a good thing to happen this year to, you know, to not only help us as a business, but also to showcase Trinidad and Tobago. Um, and I'm very proud of that. Yeah, we're seeing some of your work on the screen, some very phenomenal designs there. What do you think your X factor was in this competition? What set you apart from your competitors? I think, I think the project in general um, was um, a great scale. So, and it was beautifully finished and it had um, many elements of a transitional design. So it was a traditional architecture and it had um, contemporary elements internally so that my clients um, you know, could live uh, it well into the future. It was not based on trends. It was, it was really meant to be um, you know, everlasting. And I think that the, it, it worked 
So I think that when the submission was given, I think it just showcased maybe in the UK, they weren't expecting some of the work that we have coming out of the Caribbean. Um, and I hope that that's what translated to the judges. Right. right. And when, when you take on a project like this and you win such an award, what does it do for your reputation as a business? Well, I think, um, you know, it's, it's good for my reputation. I think it showcases that um, not only do I have the skill set or the ability, um, I also have the correct team um, behind me that helps um, make these projects successful. So um, I can only hope that it continues to bring good things and um, I've only had positive, and here I am talking to you, so something good must have come of it. I know, I know you said that this is also a victory for Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, how much uh, local products are, are used in, in your designs and in your concepts? That's an excellent question. I'm a, I, I'm a big believer that we can literally do everything here. And if there ever was a time to prove that we can do it here, it's now, it's this year. Um, you know, we had, we have no access to the outside world physically. I, I had been accustomed in the past to getting on planes and going to North America, even Europe, to literally shop for clients, for projects, um, for all the inputs that we need. And, um, but I have always asked my clients to let's get what we can locally. So, you know, we have fantastic uh, lighting elements and tiles and furniture and, um, you know, all the requirements that are required for building a uh, hair. We have to remember that um, someone else, another Trinidadian, has already been on a plane. They have already gone and ordered stuff and brought it to Trinidad. And now it's in their business to sell that to us locally. So they have done the work for us and we have to support that as much as possible. Yeah, well, that's definitely important, and I'm happy that you're su supporting local businesses. But this is a local residential interior design award. Any plans to go the commercial side? Yes, I have done some commercial work already, um, restaurants and uh, offices, uh, you know, stores, that kind of thing. Uh, but I have to say that residential is... Um, what my passion is. I love the interaction with people. Um, a commercial project is, is nice, but there is no real um, kind of element of uh, emotional commitment because it, it's really to get through the project. Whereas in a residential project, you have the client who's obviously, this is their home, and it is where they are going to be living, working, schooling, and everything from now on. So. It's important to them, and I love that emotional connection. Yeah, and this is a big achievement for you and your team in 2020. Now, of course, uh, coming after that is the question, the dreaded question, where do I go from here? How do I top this? Uh, what's your plan for 2021? To be honest, my plan has always been, um, you know, a lot of what I do now. I, I would be happy to participate in another award if it comes up, and, and that would be great. But really, um, you know, my life is day to day in the sense that I love what I do and I love where I am. I don't have aspirations to be bigger than I am. I just want to do what I do very well. Um, and, I, and I hope to just do more of that. You know, I am here thinking about the client, the owner of this home. How, how did he or she respond to being showcased in this way? And how do you work out those kinds of kinks where this is your work, but it's also somebody's private property? How do you work out something like that? Absolutely. So in this case, of course, they're thrilled and they love the idea that it was an award-winning project. Um, they were fantastic clients to work with. It was a real um, joy to work with them. It took us about two years from build to finish, um, and they have been great about supporting it. In regard to how projects are presented this way, um, of course, there's always a security issue that we have to take into account. So the actual location of my projects in general are never stated. Of course, the clients' names are always kept private, and mostly the exterior 
if we're shooting um, for presentation is not really shown so you can tell where it is. And of course, you know, we have millions of homes on the island, so it's not a big deal of where. And of course, because I'm an interior designer, most of my shots are interior. So from a privacy aspect, it's really me and the client that will know. But do you have to get their permission to submit yes. it to a competition? Um, not their permission to submit to a competition, but they know that when I'm completed the project that I am shoot, I am having a photo shoot done of the project, and that is for my portfolio. And then when the awards came about, um, their project was chosen to submit. Um, I didn't ask for their permission, but I knew it was granted. If it was a different kind of personality, I would have maybe had that conversation, but I knew it would be okay. Yeah, I, I know you said this was a kind of tumultuous year, kind of roller coaster year for you. We said that uh, apart from winning this award, there was a time that you were wondering if you'd even have a job. How bad did uh, this pandemic affect your industry? Well, I think, um, you know, we had literally no time to prepare. And then we had about three months of literally complete lockdown. Um, so in that period, of course, all of the projects that were on my schedule were put into stop mode. Um, and then I wasn't sure when those projects would start again. And then I wasn't sure about if prospect clients um, would want to invest at this time into future projects. So, you know, it was, it was concerning and worrying for me, but the, the one good thing that I think um, for my industry is that we were forced to live in our homes and we worked from our homes, our children are educated from our homes, we, you know, vacation in our homes now. So everyone was confined and I think that has made everyone recognize, okay, uh, my home needs a, a space for my work properly for the future, for my kids to be you know, educated for the future. I need to, to change my home in a way that we can all live and function here daily. So that had a, a positive spin when we were finally able to start working again. So, so the pandemic did create a niche market then for people to get those smaller projects to, to carve out that homework space, so to speak. Yes, absolutely. I think it really, and I have seen, you know, just a general overwhelming response to that in that they, so many people now have to want to change their homes to suit their needs. And I think that the way that we are living now um, will have long-term effects. So many people, just as we're interviewing like this, where I may have been in the studio in the past, um, are now having you know this kind of communication and that will I think transcend into how people work from home for long term and education and all that kind of stuff. Well we definitely want to con congratulate you on this win. Yep. I'm sure that the country is proud and for who didn't know now they know because they're watching <laughs> the morning brew here on CNC3. <laughs> So a fantastic job there, and I must tell you, those designs had me really paying the attention. The kitchen. They look fantastic. I like the kitchen. I love the kitchen. Yeah, the kitchen is this. amazing. You know it how is. my curry chicken will come out in that? Kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> if, if you have a kitchen like that, show. If, if you have a kitchen like that, Randall, your food automatically Look tastes better. Look at the fridge. Better. Yeah. Look at the yeah. <laughs> or, or either that or you're supporting Royal Castle and KFC every single day. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> because you don't want to mess up anything. No, no, yeah. no. No, I Guys, think thank you so much. Yeah, I, listen, I, I was very, very happy to have you. Who yeah. knows? Maybe one of these days, Aka Samaru and I will win the lottery and call you. <laughs> I, I'm hoping. I would like to win a lottery myself so we can share. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Yes, we could share it while we're building that dream home. Absolutely. All right, yeah. Wanda Waddle, thank you so Take much care. for being with us this morning. And congratulations. Thank you. My you pleasure. Again. Yes. Take care. I appreciate it. Randall Waddle there, the um, principal designer of mm -hmm. Homework Design Studio who won the Local Residential Interior Design Award, which is an international property awards. Congratulations to him. And those... Uh, that home, that home is on fleek. Next, I know Akash is going to tell me people don't use that says terminology on again. fleek any. Thank you. So, what do they use? It's um, it's same thing. What? It's same thing. Same thing. Yeah, it's same. What that mean? It's nice. It's it's. All right. Let me use accent. my Jamaican terminology. That look real wicked. That bad.
Still, and bad still, means good. You're still saying wicked and bad? Yeah, I think so. All right, well, cool. No, but it is nice. And um, no, it's yeah. not nice. It's better than nice. Nice, not, nice is what I use when I'm being polite. <laughs> Like when, when I don't want to tell somebody this is awful, I just say, yeah, it's no, if nice. It was, if, if it wasn't good, I probably wouldn't have said anything, but um, well, that's a nice No, bed. I will use nice no, in a, a technical it's a kitchen, way. No, it's, it's, that's it's when I just don't want to tell you, listen, take off that, that looking horrible. And I want to be diplomatic and say, oh, it's, it's nice. Uh, <laughs> with that exact look on my face. So if you see that, go and take off it's the clothes nice. or change the thing. It's, it's horrible, actually. All right, thank you to Randall Waddle there. That wasn't nice. That was amazement. That did look real good. Right? All right, we take a break and we'll be back with you.